How's it going everybody? Uh, Seth here. Small Blade Productions. Um, yeah, busted out the actual camera because I kept trying to do this on my phone and uh, just never had enough space. I don't know how much. I think I only got like 15 gigabytes on that phone or some shit. So uh, decided we'd review some cars. Uh, I'm going to start with this one. And then we'll go from there. I think I may only do one other today. But uh, we're definitely starting with this one. Because this one's pretty cool. Um, we got Kevin Harvick's Bristol winner, obviously. Um, if you don't know anything about me, I tend to get try and get cars from races that I was at. Um... Or Kyle Larson cars, basically. That's basically all I get. Uh, here's the race winner card. If you want to pause that and read that, you missed your opportunity, but there's a back button for a reason. There you go. Got the sticker here. Not that important. And we got the car here. So I'm doing this on the floor just because I don't really have uh, anywhere in here to do this, uh, but I did want to do it with all my cars, um, which I also realized I probably should have used the room I'm using for my bedroom for all this because I'm running out of room. Uh, but anyway, so if I change rooms, uh, you may get a, a new, shorter, updated collection video um, if you're interested. But anyway, yeah. So the, the Chevrolets, they have, I don't know if the Fords, ha, any of the Fords had the new or the different spoiler heights, but it doesn't, it doesn't, this one definitely does not, and I'm not sure about any of the others, because the other, yeah, all the other race wins from this season, or past season I have are Chevys, because they're all Chase Elliott's. Um, but anyway, yeah, so I was a little bit bummed out about that. But I guess uh, the Chevys have the shorter splitter compared to the Fords. Um, so I, I don't really know. Uh, you got the playoff banner up here. Hang on, let me see if I can get this out of the shadow a little bit. That's a little better. All right, we'll roll with that. Um, got the playoff banner up here. Harvick did have an onboard camera. Got some dirt up there. We'll get to that. Uh, Bush light, Ford, a ton of dirt and grime. Got some tape up there, which is always cool. Um, typical. Race win, damage, or not damage, just dirt and build up. Actually, no, there should be a punch out on the nose here. You can kind of see it. In real life, he, he kind of he poked a hole in it by the end of the race. Um, it doesn't really look like it there. Playoffs, obviously, round of 16. Kevin Harvick's name up on the door. Yeah, we're just going to use the zoom here. We got eight winner stickers because they weren't really putting the stickers on. Then, oh, shit. Appears to be some writing on there, but I don't really know. For what it's worth, I'm looking through this tiny screen. Um... So if I can't see something, then I just, I can't see it. That is just the way it is. Uh, I got your B Post sponsors up there. The uh, always nice Bush light scheme, which is really well done. The Bush light scheme to me is always what I'd kind of wished. Other than, so it's kind of like the old uh, core schemes in a way, because they... Not old, old, but um, like Sterling Marlin old. It would have the the mountains there. I always wanted it to be 
they'd do one in black. I don't know why they would, because the cans weren't like that, but I thought that would have been really cool to do that. Nothing really on the back. Harvick up on the front, DIN 563, because I never get anything good. Um, I think I pulled the hood up at one point already, and um, it's, it just says bush or whatever. I've, I've always been terrible at pulling hoods up, so I don't even really bother with, bother with it on camera. Because that is just a waste of time. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, I may, I probably won't do it today, but I may do it tomorrow, like after the race or something. Um, maybe the Chase Elliott Charlotte Roval um, Elite. Maybe. Honestly, I'm so sick of the Napa Auto Parts cars, but may do it. Um, maybe the Harvick Darlington. I don't know. Anyway, um, let me know what you want to see. If you want to see anything, you can check my diecast collection video. This wasn't in it, but um, everything except this and the Chase Elliott Roval is in there if you want to see anything. Uh, we got the uh, Sprint cars coming out real soon, and I've got pretty much all of the 164s of those on pre-order, and I've got the Larson 118, so I'll probably do reviews on all of those. Um, I think I've got all of them, but if I don't, I'll end up probably getting the rest that I don't have. So anyway, um, comment uh, if you want to see anything, uh, like the video if you enjoyed it, and if you want to see more, just go ahead and subscribe. I'll be coming out with some stuff periodically, you know, so uh, I'll see y'all whenever see y'all.